What do you mean lately? We had a group challenge. We were all talking about yeah. it. It's not lately. That's, a, that's how groups work. She did go over your dog and got a lot more hair off the feet, and she did smooth out your scissoring. And it was a group effort, and you got really bent and out of I shape over it. I still had time to do it. I still had that time. I thought you said you were done. You said, yeah. you said, I said I'm you done. done. You said I'm done. No, I That's all I heard was, I'm done. But, I didn't but say it was done. I, was, I kept scissoring to make it look nice. No, I confronted Kathleen and Jonathan. I needed to say something. I needed to stand up for myself. You weren't going with the group. There was no group theme. She started the argument, and I just sat there, and I, and I go, look, I don't care. Groom the way you want to. Please groom the way you want. What more do you want me to say? I'm an adult. I'm, I'm mature. I don't need to do this. I just feel like I'm not going to hold things back anymore. You don't have to I'm hold gonna, things back, but I don't think you were a team player in this challenge. The thing that crossed my line was when Kathleen took my dog away from me. It was a slap in the face. You said you were done. I still had time to do it. You, I, I you said you were done. Okay. I'm not doing this anymore no, no, no. because no, 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 no. no you That's said you were done. That's you're 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 double talking. She didn't do a good enough job, and we had to help her. And if we didn't take over and do what we had to do, one of us would be gone today, and it would have been her, and she'd be even more sorry. You put my position here and Kathleen's position here in jeopardy, and I don't appreciate that because we were a team and you were only thinking about yourself and not the team. I didn't ask for her to take away my dog and do my dog because I feel like, what are the judges gonna say? Like, I'm incompetent of grooming? You have no idea, I have a heart, I have a soul, I have a brain, I have a mind. I mean, ugh, she is immature. She takes forever to do everything, she's like, I got a few brain cells. Ever since I came here, the thing I have against you is you would not stop making fun of my hair, my age. Everything I did, if I dropped a plate, you said, oh, it's a blonde moment. You need to come over here. It was very insulting. You have a thin skin. You're being too sensitive. I know that. I know okay. that. And I know that. But I just feel like if you would just give me a chance and respect me. I'm trying to show to the other people in the house that I'm not just young, I'm not just blonde, I'm not just inexperienced. I'm, well, I'm not in inexperienced. Stop judging me and stop stereotyping me and stop giving me that stigma because of my looks, because of my age, because of, you know, I, I've been in this industry for quite a while. I, I, Don't I, I consistently that. make fun. I don't consistently make like fun of you. You're sitting there like like as if I walk around the house, like dit, 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 making fun of you. That's not You poked and prodded a lot at me more than anybody else in this house. Oh has. please. Suddenly she turns the whole thing into that I'm always making fun of her and I'm always like picking on her, which I mean, yeah, I've made a couple jokes about her and things like that. And I do pick on her a little bit, but I pick on her in jest, just the same way everybody else does, you know? I was in the kitchen when Melissa started saying that she was tired of the blonde jokes and hey Jonathan was telling her the truth and she just doesn't seem to make sense she just doesn't seem to, she says and contradicts herself constantly and she doesn't remember what she just say and and after all she is a dumb blonde come on with bad hair don't you think i've gotten this my entire life i mean you're not the first person that's made fun of my hair or i don't make fun of your hair because any anybody could have dropped a plate uh, it's late i'm done with this really good night i don't want you to walk away angry though get it together you know i mean stop being such a little whiner now i have two enemies yay kathleen and jonathan are very domineering very like yeah adamant about what they want done. I know that Melissa doesn't really get along with Kathleen. Kathleen just seems to be kind of pretentious and a pain in the ass. I think Kathleen's attitude, um, it's kind of vicious. Constructive criticism is different than here, you're it all up, give it to me, I'll that's, fix it. That's basically what they and did to me. And that's how she, that's how she made you feel. That's how she made me feel. When I confronted Jonathan and Kathleen, I wanted to ask for a respect. I'm not gonna let people step on my toes anymore. Just show your best. I like Jessica. She's like my best friend. We relate on a very high level. She's like able to understand what I'm going through. I'm able to understand what she's going through. We can relate a lot. 
I really, really, really like Melissa and I like her company and she's really sweet and she cares a lot about me and I do the same to her. Now let's go get some rest. I'm tired. I'm actually relieved that I let it out because if you hold back emotions or feelings, it just intensifies and then you snap and I'm not gonna snap.